<coughs> we will start from the from the bottom in the section on page page of, although we already went into this. But this uh, we have we need to focus in and try to to get the principles that that come out from all these gyrations going back and forth. Uh, what is that? I'm not sure it says reconnecting. Oh reconnecting. Okay, you give up, huh? No, this is What? You call back. So at the end of the of the middle section that we, have, that we finished yesterday, the Rebbe explains that in order to facilitate the creation, despite the fact that creation is be'ina roich, it is not a, a direct flow. It is not a a uh, developmental process. That one madriga leads automatically to the next madriga all the way to the creation. Rather, the creation is yeshmiyai. It's <coughs> be'arich. Yeshmiyai means that the yesh cannot understand the source from which it was created, that created it. Not an evolutionary, a straight evolutionary process. Nonetheless, within the higher source, in Atzilus, or in Chochmah, there has to have been, there has to take place a process of reduction of the Yoyr in order to bring the, the, the source, the Chochmah, or the Atzilus, to a state of understanding, of recognizing what it means I'm going to create a Yesh. What is this, what is this, how is this fit in, in my realm, because I'm, I'm all oir. Because there is a there is a process, there is experience, quote unquote, of reduction of the oir within the the original process, initial level. Therefore, he's able to relate to the principle of reducing the oir to the point where it's a, it's a, a new creation. So I was thinking. A motion. We had many misshapen for this. I thought the motion that that demonstrates this process, something that we can really relate to, something we can really understand. And but I realized that, that it's it's right there blatantly in front of us. An artist, I'm not an artist, but I understand the process that takes place. An artist who renders a, a living being, a living, a, a living scene or a, a living human being on paper. When he looks at the human being, he doesn't see lines and colors and shades. He sees a living human being. This is the the big principle of the of these genius artists. Anybody can can copy the piece of art. The genius art artist is the one who renders the living the life element that he observes <coughs> and, and, and onto paper. <coughs> In order to to <coughs> render the life the anything on paper. The common paper it has to be reduced to lines and, to, and dots and color and shades. It doesn't come directly from the from the life of the you know. How then does he take this living face and reproduce it on paper? He 
he actually initially observes only a living face. If he observes two lines, then he's not going to be, it's not going to be a living piece of art. He observes a living face. And all the ramifications and impact what life is. Not only that he's living in, the, in terms of that he can move around or something. In living means that he's got enthusiasm of life. And this is what, what, what directs him. This is what, man, what manipulates him. The internal life element. You're talking about the artist himself or the subject? The subject. Yeah. This is what he observes. To render this on paper is impossible. What happens, what transpires in his mind? In his mind that he begins to reduce the impact of life to, to recognize how that life manifests itself. And then once he begins to reduce this the impact, then he is able to see how this can actually be transplanted, transplanted and transferred onto paper. So the lines and dots and colors are uh, the manifestation of the reduction? That's right. That's right. This is the ultimate reduction. The process of reduction takes various stages. It does not immediately go into, into the lines and, and, and dots and, 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 and colors. <coughs> Again, because his aim is to, to reproduce the life element rather than the license, than the allusion to, to a living person, but the actual life element. Right. Therefore, there has to be a gradual reduction. <coughs> In this process of reduction, he begins to realize how it is possible to actually reproduce the life element in, into life, lines, and, lines and dots. And this takes place as a result of this gradual uh, actualization of the view that he is seeing. Because initially, he initially sees a living human being. A living human being is not, is not to be transformed, transformed into paper. Living and being is part of the whole environment. He's part, he represents the, the fact that there's a living God in the world. Yet, and this is what, in this observation, he begins, he begins a process of reduction of the oil. Reduction of the, of the, <coughs> of the, of the in the in, in essential, the all-encompassing life element to how it manifests itself. Once he focuses on how it manifests, then he is able ultimately to reduce the impact of the life element to the point where, he can, where it can be translated into lines and dots. But even then, if he is a, an artist, so to speak, true to his to, to his to his trade, he is not going to reduce. He's not producing lines and dots. He is always focused, always recognizing that these lines and dots represent a living, a living face, a living human being. <coughs> but this life has now been the impact of the life has Come. been reduced slowly to the point where. He recognizes it through the lines and dots. Correct? Yeah. Mm. Which, is, which is why abstract art is garbage. <laughs> and, well, why Ro not? Rothko and Miro and all, all these guys, they, they had all that stuff okay. burned. <laughs> why abstract, abstract, abstract art is garbage. Totally abstract because it has no body. It's all soul. And it, it's not brought down. To, it's, it's, there's no subject matter. Did you hear that? 
course, if you if you if you have if you have uh, just just I mean, picture I mean, perfect, uh, you know, every brush stroke perfect rendered of, of a face, it just becomes kitsch. There's no soul there. It has to have both. That's a body and a soul. That's right. This is the, the this is what the Rebbe is saying over here. That in Atzilus itself, there has to be a process of reduction of the urge. In order that Atzilus should be able to relate to the to a concept or principle of creating a yesh. And when the Atzilus creates a yesh, it is not a yesh devoid of oil. It is a yesh that is the result of the oil. This is how Biyah is created. This is the, so to speak, the the, the conclusion of, the, of that top section. <coughs> From that, at that point, on that conclusive point, what we have is that Milo and Mato, higher and lower, higher means closer to the to the impact of the of the of the source, and lower means less impact. Is dependent, and is manifest by less and more oil. And this is what defines its 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 status as higher or lower, more or less oil, as we would be discussing all the time from that uh, from that perspective. So the Rebbe explains that this whole view and this manner of identifying higher and lower is only only for the sake of understanding the, the histalus of the creation process. How from Chochmah comes Bina? Or how from Achilles comes Briah? But not to understand the principle of higher and lower in and of itself, which is independent, which is prior to the union of more and less life. Higher and lower is an essential principle. More or less, oil is 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 a is a consequence of it, but it doesn't define what it is. This is what they'll explain now. This is a truly challenging concept. What's the difference between a statue and a living human being? In terms of how you observe it. Why do you have to observe it? Oh, wow. Statue you admire. So no, 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 you, you, you're okay. jumping too, too okay. quickly to the okay. question. Okay. Right. The question is not an in, uh, out of the blue uh, question, it is to understand the, the following that we're going to say. You are not going to stand up in deference of a, of a statue that is so living, livingly represented that oh, there's a human being here, I still have to I have to behave with respect. It's not gonna be. In the presence of a human being, even of a simple human being, you will be going to behave in a certain manner. With some kind of a, a, a sense of respect. Like the Gemara says, Rabbi Yechon ben Zakai said to his Talmidim, Rabbi Yechon ben Zakai, 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 Rabbi Yechon ben Zakai
and he explains what's the fear of a human being. The proof is that when a person is actually doing something improper, he wishes one thing that nobody should observe him. Why is he so concerned that nobody should observe him? Shirani Odom. Even an Odom, even a human being that he has never met and never expects to meet again. A total stranger from Honolulu, from China. And yet he, he doesn't want him to be observed. Because there's an impact of a living human being that that says that that in this environment with this human being around, I have to behave in a certain respectable manner. In deference of this of this life that's that's throbbing in this in this human being. If the same human being, or even a great human being, were to be rendered in a picture or in a statue, it would not have the same impact. Because, not because it's lacking the implication of a living thing, because it doesn't have the life itself. This is what, this is what we're saying, this is the, that's the essential quality not how it manifests itself, how it affects it, but the essential truth of the of this quality. Even if the human being is asleep, he will be or he'll be uncomfortable doing something inappropriate in, in that environment. Because there's an inherent sense of deference and respect. This is what the Rebbe is explaining. That my low mat, higher and lower, are not directly dependent on how much impact of oil there is. It's an essential truth. To put it in our terms, and so that before we lose it and we continue, a statue is all world. It could be very beautiful, but it's all world. A living thing is godly. It's a different cal, a different caliber, a different reality. In final world, a world, no matter what kind of world you think, it doesn't, it doesn't engender any kind of, def, of deference and respect. In front of a godly element, no matter how, how minute, there is, a, there is a, automatically a deference and respect. Now we're going to go to the Last section on page, pay vote. Aval, however, the etz emoyinyan to focus in on the essential principle. What line are we on? Oh, yeah, guy, guy, guy. Are the etz? Yeah, the malo mato be in lomus spheres of the principle of higher and lower in worlds and spheres. Ain't that? It is not. Bechinas ha milo that the bechinas of the higher rock only the fact. Mashi ha madrigo ha elyino in bechinas ribo hoir. The difference is not only the fact that the higher madrigo has an element of ribo hoir. Legabe ha madrigo tachtein has has an increase as a ribo hoir, an excess of oil relative to the madrigo tachtein. This is not what it is. So he's proposing and then discarding. Shmuel, Shmuel. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Try to understand a bit, Oyer. No, but before he was he was proposing that 
the myelin mach is more ribuy or in, in, in so that we said, this is only relative to the creation <coughs> process, but not in essence. In essence, the union of Malomato in world is not the Malomato that, that, is, that is identified only in the fact that there is more or less oil. This is why I came up with this, with this illustration of the, of the artist. The respect there is not by what it manif but by it manifests, by what appears, but an essential truth. That's your presence. Like I said, the, the perfect statues will not engender any kind of respect, but a sleeping human being will. Because it presents a completely different principle. <laughs> okay, at the end of the second one. Rag, rather, hamalo mato, the principle of higher and lower, who be'etze madrigoso, is identifiable from the essence of the madrig. Sheho'el yo'in, which means to say, that that which is the high, higher one, who is a madriga, high madriga, in essence, not because he has more oil, but in essence, he's in his high madriga than the tachta, than the lower. The who gam came. And then, as a result, it is also bepinus riboy oir. It also carries with it the inya of riboy oir of of the, the greater amount of oir. Ba'oi so milo madrega shuhu in the very madrega milo madrega that it is. In other words, because of its true status of being milo. Therefore, it has also more, more oil. But not that more oil is the cause for the high madriga. The opposite is true. Because it's high madriga, therefore he engenders and brings out more, uh, the, uh, more oil. Okay, are we together here? Yes. The Sibas Horibu Vehamid Bhoir, the cause for the fact that there is increase and decrease of oil. Again, let us re reintroduce, re re experience the principle of oil. Coming back to this artist who's observing and living in the room. And he has a face. And there are all kinds of different lines and lines and, and shades and all that. All of that to him is not representing lines and, sh and shades. It is a natural process and, and a presentation of a living face. It's all representing the same thing. A living face. In other words, he's representing the oil. And if he should, should stay at this river oil, at this overwhelming impact of the oil, he would never be able to render it on paper. Because only a human eye, a living eye, can, uh, can, can, relay, can see this.
However, in observing, in recognizing the, this essential truth, he also recognizing that there is also an oil element that comes with it. And this is where he, the process of reduction comes to the point where he's able to render it on paper and back into, back and forth into the Marshall and Yimshu. Okay, right in the, in, in the fourth line in the parentheses. The Shibas Haribir Amid Ho'ir, the cause for the increase and decrease of oil, who Gam came, also comes as a result, Mitzad Hamilo, Mato Betsa Madrigoso. The cause of the more or less oil is not that the more or less oil is the, is the definition of Milo Mato, just the opposite. Because it is higher, that's why it has more oil. Because it is higher, it relates to oil directly. The living being relates to the oil, to, to, to life, not, not to how it appears, to how it appears. He represents that. The reason that there is more oil is due to the fact that they do the essential truth of his madrege. That's madrege also. The hasfiro shehumailo be'etze madrege which means to say that the sphero that is milo, that is higher, so it's a, a, a status of higher. Be'etze madrege what defines it milo? Not because of any of any content, but because it the definition it is a high madri. That sphero meir bo So in that sphero shines this increase of oil. In general, we divide the spheres into three categories. Chabad, Chagas, and Nehim. Chabad, by definition, are of higher caliber than Chagas. Not because they have more oil, but because they are of a higher caliber. That's a mother goes. Therefore, there is also more oil in Chabad. Then now, okay, two lines um, from the bottom. Can I ask something? Just one second. Yes, but I, um, the, the two lines from the bottom, they begins another parenthesis. The oil who gamkin elibe madrig. Not only is there a difference of the quantity, so to speak, more and less oil, increase or decrease of oil, of a high madrig. But within the high madrig is a different kind of oil. The oil that impacts the high madrig is a different kind, is a higher oil than the oil that impacts a lower madrig. Oil, who got in alien by Madrigue, the oil itself is an alien type of, of, of oil. The zoo she he bebchinus mato, and that Madrigo that is bebchinus mato, that is identified and has the quality of mato of being lower. He bebchin a smid hoir. It is mato, and therefore it, it has, it is less of impacted by oir. The foot has life in it, even as the hand, which is kind of in closer proximity. But even even as the as the eye, even as the as the mind and brain and heart. But the life element and the oil, 
the oil that is that is impacted in the in the, that is that impacts the foot. Where is the oil element in the in the foot? The oil element in the foot is not while it is walking and active, but that the foot is always at the ready for its action, and it's always responsive directly to that which the mind says, oh, I have to go there. It is always on the ready. This is the oil impact on the foot. But that oil doesn't compare in terms of the quality of oil as it is in the mind that decides we have to go over there. point here is that on the one hand it's the same, on the other hand it's distinct. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, <laughs> What's mean the same? It's also oil. Yeah. But it's a different kind of oil. It's also life, but it's different quality. It's different, yeah. different quality. Can I still ask something? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, it was said a few days ago that when well, previous year that, that uh, that um, uh, I think someone said that Hochman is higher, not because it has more oil, because it looks more for the oil than uh, dinner. Is this the same as we learn now? The etymatra goes on the essentially they're higher because they're looking for the source rather than itself. That's right. That's exactly right. What is the, the, the great the great status of Chochmah. Why is Chochmah so highly respected? Because Chochmah is looking up to see where the truth is coming from. I'm interested in what I have. Where is it coming from? Chochmah is what commits the person in the divine service. My service, I want to have something for myself. No, no, no. I don't want anything. I just want to have the opportunity to serve at the divine level. So this small parenthesis, two lines from the bottom, the oil who gamkin alien the madre, that the very oil itself is a higher kind of oil. That is, that is really a bombshell. Just want to finish that line. And that Madrege which is Bibhinas Mato, that by definition it is a Mato kind of Madrege, he Bibhinas Midoid. It also by definition has the element of Midoid of reduction. Okay, this is it for this morning. Thank you. Cool.